part two, the fin box of the stand-up paddleboard. Um, this is a great place to use some of the cool scrap that you've been saving you didn't really know why you were keeping. This is genuine mahogany, so nice and light and rot resistant, strong, all that good stuff. So I decided to cut the grooves on the Shaper Origin and program it directly on the terminal, um, just for practice. And you could use a router, you could use a table saw, you could use a chisel, you could use a lot of different things to cut this. Um, but I just thought it would be easy to do it in two halves route each half of this thing and then glue the two halves together. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm programming it sort of as I go, just for the experience. Um, I could have drawn this in many different softwares, but it was just as easy to do it on here and it was just kind of a fun way to do it. it requires two different bits because one slot is 3 sixteenths that center slot for the pin, so you can't use a quarter inch bit, but eighth inch bit works just fine. A little hand cleanup, could have programmed it differently, but why bother? And I got two identical halves, beautifully machined, and uh, time to glue them together. And before I attach this thing, I'm gonna fiberglass the outside of this box that'll be hidden inside the board. So I just went with Type Bond 3. It's a nice waterproof glue, easy to clean up, easy to work with. And uh, you gotta have a lot of pressure though, so you gotta you know, really clamp it. It's, it's a high pressure glue. It's not like epoxy. It wants to be tight. And because it's Type Bond 3, you can just do a little water cleanup. It's a popsicle stick I cut down. I love popsicle sticks. And just a little trimmy trim at the end, and you're good to go. Inbox.